Yes, I am making this a regular series. Making toast! Everybody, Techie 101 here, and welcome back to Making Toast. Now, needless to say, the reaction from the last episode has been nothing but positive responses and the occasional death threat, but you know, it's YouTube, so you can just chalk that up to whatever. And because of that response, I decided to take requests from you, the fan, that's singular, fan, in order to determine which culinary masterpiece I should craft today. So let's take a look at the comment. Well, once again, singular, comment. Episode 2, French Toast. There's so many ways you could mess it up, it would be hilarious. Ha <laughs> oh, ho, you. You think this is some kind of joke? French toast is the most carefully guarded secret in that entire country for over 1,500 years. It began with Clovis I, who founded the country of France, and then locked the secret recipe of French toast away in a casket exactly 3,000 meters below the surface of the earth, guarded by an entire army of ogres and dragons that was only recently discovered by Harrison Ford in a raid during the filming of Raiders of the Lost Ark in the 1980s. It was then purchased by a rich Satanist in 1992, had 14 curses placed upon it, recently exercised, and now I am the sole keeper of this hollowed recipe right here in my left hand. So yeah, sure, we can give it a shot. Okay, so first things first, the things that we're gonna need for this recipe. Number one, a toaster. We will not be needing. This is a second episode of a show that specializes in toast and we've yet to use an actual toaster yet. All right, so this recipe is only good for exactly six slices of toast. You heard me, six. No more, no less. You use too many, then a portal to the ninth dimension rips open in your kitchen, Cthulhu comes out, kills your entire family with tentacles. Uh, vice versa, if you don't use enough slices of toast, then a portal to only the eighth dimension will rip open in your kitchen, merging a smaller, lesser Cthulhu monster that will only kill your pets. So uh, either way, I don't think that's really a, a good situation for either of us, so I think we should just stick to six, you know? Three eggs, a tablespoon of milk, a half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and ground cinnamon. As much as you really want, either. It just goes to your personal taste. Oh, and bread, right. We're probably gonna need bread for this. Okay, so let's open up the magical bread box and see what we're going to be using today. It's Wonder Italian which I'm convinced is just what would happen if Wonder Bread and regular Italian bread had a baby and we're using it to make a French-based toast sort of thing. Um, so I just find that really heavily ironic. Okay, preheating's first. Threw some butter, uh, you know, stuff in there so the toast doesn't catch on fire like last time. We're gonna pop this sucker on, you know, medium heat, low to medium. You don't want to keep it, you know, too charred there. And uh, we can basically just start immediately throwing in our ingredients into the uh, bowl here. Um, I suck at cracking eggs. That's actually the best egg I've ever cracked in my life right there. So hey, you're witnessing history right here. I, I, I think I've always just been too much of a pussy whenever it came to the eggs. I was always like cracking them into a bowl first. I should really just do it like this. You know, either way, it doesn't matter. You know, uh, egg whites, are, I mean, egg, yolk, uh, egg uh, shells are good for you, right? I'm sure they are. Okay, milk's next. What's this? It's uh, da, 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 da. one tablespoon. Oh, I was prepared, right? Okay, one tablespoon of milk. That's, that's about a tablespoon, right? We're doing this quick. We're doing this quick. It's kind of hard to fuck up toast, okay? If I manage to fuck up toast, I mean, I already fucked up toast in the first episode, but if I... It's kind of hard to mess up something as simple as this, you know? Um, so, anyway, French toast stories. Um, I... This is, like, my favorite kind of, you know, toast, you know, if I want to eat it. It's just more of a pain to make, so I don't eat it that... I don't make it that much, but it's pretty good. Um, I first... Uh, discovered I liked it. It was a movie. It was a really bad movie. I think it was Home Alone 4 where the kid is eating uh, toast in there and I really, you know, like that. Okay, I think that's everything I needed uh, on top of the cinnamon or whatever. Okay, you yeah, know, just throw a little bit of cinnamon in there. You know, eat the cinnamon, cinnamon. I don't know. That's some stuff I can say, some things I can't. You know, people always have that real problem saying cinnamon. I don't know. I never had a problem with it. I've always been pretty good at tongue twisters, you know? Like, say toy boat three times fast. Toy boat, toy boat, toy boat. Yep, there you go. And so we do that, and you're going to want to get yourself a plate or like a semi-shallow bowl-looking thing because the idea is you want to, you know, pour this mixture in there, and then you're going to want to dip the bread in there. So you're going to want to have something with a lot of... You want, you want some room to work with, you know? You can't just use, like, a regular plate. That's not going to get you anywhere. All right. So... 
That looks, um, like batter should look, I'm assuming. Yeah, you'll understand I have, like, no skill with any of this. This is pretty much just me, um, shotgunning it half the time. But you know what, that looks, that looks edible, sure. Okay, so here we go, our six, six slices of Wonder Italian bread that we're going to be using to make French toast. Now, I'm sure, I don't know, is it the same thing with, like, French fries? I don't know. Is it, like, developed by the people in France? Like, that was the thing. Okay, Italian bread's weird. Italian bread is, like, more rectangular than normal bread, which has a more, you know, square-looking uh, shape. So, yeah, I don't know if I should trust this, but whatever. Fucking end pieces. Okay. Count them! One, two, three, four, five, six. That's Ichi, Ni, San, Yong, Go, Raku. Uh, uh, wait, I'm trying to, okay. Eins, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, sieben. Okay, I, uh, and that's the only languages I can count to six in. Okay, so, uh, now, uh, really basic. All we gotta do is just dip it in this concoction. Get both sides really battered up. You know, batter that, batter that bitch up. And then just toss it in there. Uh, each side, you're gonna wanna go for about, I'd say, 45 seconds to a minute. A minute might be pushing it a bit. Um, so yeah, I mean, you don't want this to go overboard, obviously. This is a very delicate procedure. So you're gonna wanna keep it, you know, just keep an eye on it. Golden brown. I mean, some people like it burnt, um, you know. Most people don't, though. You know, I think, I think people that like stuff burnt are just admitting to the fact that they just don't know how to cook very well, so they learn to taste burnt things just because. Uh, with that being said, I'm pretty sure it's been close to 45 seconds, so I'm gonna turn this now. Uh, clearly it hasn't, because that does not look very good. So I will turn that back around. I just want to alert everybody that the, uh, the brick of punishment is indeed on standby for this, because, you know, gotta be careful. Okay, there we go. That looks that looks a little bit more presentable, don't you think? That looks a little bit more like the French toast that um, Pappy used to make, even though my grandfather never actually made French toast. Um, but yeah, he's gonna make him pierogies though. He's 92 years old. He was fought, he fought in World War II. He's uh, he's still going. He's still around. And turn our oven off. And here is our final product. Uh, we're gonna be eating our French toast with uh, some syrup, which. has been frozen solid. All right, well that idea went out the window. Do or die, here we go, peeps. Hmm, um, okay. This is um really soggy, but you know what? I'm gonna give this one a pass because I know this would taste so much better if that syrup was on it right now, but unfortunately, yeah, that's not uh, going anywhere. Hmm. Okay, so it avoids the brick of punishment for a probationary basis only. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the second episode of Making Toast with Teching 101. Have a good night and oh shit, I forgot to make the other four faces. Of <laughs> Oh god, no, it's a slightly lesser version of Cthulhu that's come to kill my pets! Get out of here, dog!